the Paris attacks, and I really, no, people, I'm not trying to take this lightly at all, because we all know what happened. It was on Friday. We had an attack in a theater in Paris. They were having a rock concert go on, and I believe that there were about, at this point, they say, what, 100, over 123 people have died? Yeah. Or it's probably at that point. The Guardian. I think I, I think I last heard 129. 129. And 99 that are in the hospital with critical injuries. <sighs> it's horrible. It's horrible. A place that's doing some really good updates is The Guardian. Guardian is updating this every other minute. It's doing live updates. Dan, look like you in the corner, Gerald, up there. <laughs> see, <laughs> see it up there, Gerald? I didn't know you worked for The Guardian, man. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> but that's a good place to go if you want to keep up with some updates that are happening. Every time these things happen, I'm, look, I'm just like anybody else. I'm not pointing the fingers at anyone. I'm not coming across as being self-righteous. I get angry, and I get very hostile feelings, and I just lash out at everything. Sure. I I found myself, when this happens, I'm like, again, I, I have fantasies. I have fantasies of, like, strapping up, being a punisher, some shit, and going over and just killing everybody. Who would you kill? Whoever. <laughs> Who's that? Jihad John. That's who I'd kill. They got him already too. Yeah, they got him. I man, you know, fantasy say I would just go over there and just take out every person dressed up in that ISIS gear with those robes and shit. Sure, you know, sure. that's what I'm saying. It's not reasonable, man. Sure. Uh, yeah. Frank Miller wrote a Batman story. There you go. I want to dress up like <laughs> Batman and go over there and fight ISIS and Al Qaeda. And, and, and DC Comics said, "No fucking way." We're <laughs> <laughs> good luck finding another publisher for that. <laughs> but I know that's unreasonable. That's why I left it alone. Yeah. I don't. I don't go off on that. And then even and this is true, man. I get, I do get stupid with this shit. I get unreasonable with it. I, that night I was so angry about it. I got mad at Sylvester Stallone because I, of well, yeah, because of Rambo three. Because well, he's the one who started all Rambo this. and Expendables and shit. I'm just kind of like, man, you make all these movies. Why don't you go over there and do that shit for real? You know, you all, you know, you can always fight all these people. What happened to you? Got my ass kicked. You know, we 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 see these these, these movies where they go over there, and they, they kick ass, and they take all they take on a whole army. The country's safe after they leave and shit. I'm the, I'm thinking, you know, I'm kind of mad at you that you make that shit and that you can't back it up. The, these are thoughts do, that do go through mad, my head. You get mad at GI Joe cartoons too, because you're like, come on, man, y'all fucking around with Cobra. We have a real enemy here. That's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cartoons, man. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Not real people like Stallone. <laughs> now, you know, I, the thing is, man, I do, I really do think these things. I get mad at people who make action movies. I think they're being, I think they're being callous because the next thing will happen and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll cash in on it. And I, I, I start thinking weird stuff. But then, I'll pull back, and I start getting a little more grounded, it's because you, you start to see all these, these real life, exaggerated, just insensitive situations that happen around this and i feel like you know i it is more complicated somebody has to you know keep a cool head about this sure and that's the way i start to think because it's 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 a tragedy enough that we have this kind of thing happen uh these people i mean imagine what that the, the horror the, of you being hostage to a group of people who you who you're just waiting your turn to be assassinated next mm -hmm. it's a horrible thing and then you start to think about that's bad enough, but then you start thinking about the fallout around something like that that happens because we all want something to blame. Yeah. yeah. And of course, the first thing that happens is we blame Muslims, all Muslims. You know, we don't care. It's like all of those, the whole religion is at fault. And I want, and this makes me angry because, it, you know, it's, it, nobody bothers to look at the reality of the Muslim religion because the reality is if they look if, if you think every Muslim is a terrorist you think every Muslim is bad and violent if you think that's every Muslim out there then we are truly fucked right if they, yeah if it was true yeah we would be truly fucked we would be there that over a billion Muslims out right. there one percent of these guys are terrorists. Not, not no, not that's that's too high. Are, 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 are not even terrorists. I'm sorry, not but there is a there is a section where it's like a very fundamentalist part. It's sure. probably less than probably less than one percent yes, of these much people. Much less than one percent. Yeah, billion people, and yet y'all want to blame. If that was true, none of us would have a head. Right. They would they would win, <laughs> and, and and most of them are, you know, they're peace loving people, because you know you, when you when you look at it. The Muslim religion is just like any other religion, you know. Almost every every religion out there, even I don't even know some Satanists who are like, "Hey, we're full of, you know, we're peaceful." They're all based on fairy tales. 
Well, yeah, look, I'm gonna respect people's religions. Oh, I'm sorry, you, mean, you found some other common. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna respect people's religions, but I'm you know me look, I don't have a me being an atheist, I don't have a religious dog in this fight. <laughs> but I, you know, when you look at the when you look at how Muslims are, are just you know they they're the ones that have to take they're, right now. They're the religion, even though there's billions of them out there who are peace loving uh, uh, individuals, they have to take the blame for less than one percent of this religion doing stupid shit right every religion has had this their, their time of barbaric acts i'm not talking about i'm not talking about just violence i'm talking about barbaric acts and don't think that we're talking about medieval times don't think we're talking about you know 200 years ago the south was fucking notorious sure for lynching people burning men. i mean we ain't talking about hanging. we're talking about burning men alive mutilating their bodies before they're dead and after they're done, they say, God bless America. You know, putting God in there, thinking they're justified because God loves one race over another. You know, I mean, it's, think about the cross. I mean, even today, people out there, they, they, they take the cross, you know, a religious symbol, something that we put on churches, and they use it, they still use this <coughs> as a sign of hatred, as a sign of intimidation. And that's a religious symbol right there that people will still use today. Jesus must be like, God damn, does anybody use a cross for anything good? <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I, that way of thinking shouldn't be had. I mean, it is a certain terrorist group that is doing things, and I don't think a whole peace-loving religion should have to be blamed for it. Right. See, billions of fucking Muslims out there. You know, you're gonna, y'all better quit doing that shit before you piss them off. <laughs> 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 but God damn, can't y'all just have one day in the morning and shut the fuck up? Yeah, hey. But they give it a day, then they leave it open for somebody else to jump in first. Fuck, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> See, that's what's wrong. Why I, I do this shit? I know. <laughs> and, and I even had to defend somebody. Uh, your boy Trump. Everybody, <laughs> My they, boy. Wait, you defended Trump? No, I didn't. No. I, well, yeah, I did. I okay. did. Because people, every, this is what happens. We lose sight of the fucking tragedy. Over 100 people killed, and we sitting up here fighting on Twitter. But, like, we just... If people ain't tweeting, like the conservatives are tweeting stupid shit, and meanwhile the liberals are just waiting for them to tweet stupid shit so they can tweet back. <laughs> you know that? And they had to put me in that position because somebody went out there and they, uh, they found an old uh, tweet from uh, Trump. Uh-huh. Isn't it interesting that the tragedy in Paris took place in one of the toughest gun control countries in the world? And Trump, look, Trump's a, Trump's a bitch, okay? <laughs> but let, let's, let's play fair, you know what I mean? This is, this is an old tweet, man. Well, now, is that tweet from your girl Ann Coulter new? Man, see, this is the one where you can say, wow, Trump is the one that look, actually looking good right here. <laughs> because the rest of these motherfuckers out here tweeting just, <laughs> not just stupid <laughs> shit, but, st- I mean, what makes me say, it, I'm laughing, but it's sick. It is sickening to see people, human beings who are supposed to be smarter than this, really use this as a way to not only, like, try to, like, cash in on, uh, you know, because they are cashing in. This is for people to boost their standing in their certain circles. Sure. <laughs> and they, t- they bringing in shit that ain't even got to do with this tragedy right here, man. Some chick, Judith Miller, found a way to talk about those protesters in, 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 at the uh, University of Missouri. Where she linked it to this? She linked it to this. Look at this shit. Okay. Now, maybe the whining adolescents at our universities can concentrate on something other than the need for safe spaces. You fucking hoe. <laughs> you bitch. You know what I mean? Really? You gonna, I mean, that shit is just crammed I up know. in there. Like I said, she just <laughs> fisted the shit in there, man. Put that shit all up in the ass of this yeah, tragedy. Was like, did you use a crowbar or a pry bar or something <laughs> no, like that? No, she put on a glove and went elbow <laughs> deep up in that ass, man, with this. It's... That's that's to me that's that's that is insane. That's like mentally ill almost. Like, right. like that's almost sociopathic behavior that you don't see how that's insulting to this situation that happened in Paris. There's more on there. New Gingrich, imagine a theater with ten or fifteen oh, he's still citizens. Around? He's still around. Imagine a theater with ten or fifteen citizens with concealed carry permits. We live in an age when evil men have to be killed by Good people. And by the way, if I ever saw Newt Gingrich, I, I, w- I would get in his face and say, man, you are a fucking bitch. <laughs> you, I, look, Newt Gingrich is somebody I never liked. And I don't like anybody who likes Newt Gingrich. And because of shit like this, motherfucker cheating on his wife and left his wife who had cancer going to tell me how to live my family values, I would grab him by his collars and shove that motherfucker to the ground and kick him in his fucking stomach. <laughs> he said, but Corey, come on. She wasn't hot anymore, man. I'm like, oh shit! Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Let me see a picture. 
to, oh, shit, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> Here, let me dust you off. You want a drink, man? <laughs> Here's some... Cancer's just not sexy. I don't know. <laughs> Ann Coulter, of course, is in there somewhere. I forgot where she is. I mean, I yeah, might not I even have I saw something with her saying, like, this is the night that Trump got elected. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You said she, he will be elected because of this. Wow, man. Have y'all forgotten that some people got killed in here? <laughs> some people got shot. Anybody? It's not about y'all. My, the one that I love right here. I told I told you how like people come in and they blame something else. Mm. Now this is your boy, James Woods. Do you remember when James Woods when we thought he used to be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Before he lost his fucking mind. Well, I I he stopped being cool for me when he did that vampires movie. Okay. Well, he did. He's doing a lot worse today. <laughs> I say I used to love James Woods because he had bad skin like me. Mother like a handsome piece of sandpaper right now. Look at <laughs> skin just skin just, just <laughs> skin like a freshly gravel road. Look at But I said, you know, but his skin was like mine. I had bad skin back when I was a kid. I said, shit, if he can make it, him and Edward James almost, man. Right. <laughs> they were they were heroes. They're like these poppy mark motherfuckers can make it, then I I can do it too. Now he can't shut the fuck up. Now today looking like a fucking jellyfish. He can't shut the fuck up. Sitting up here blaming shit. He's one of those conservatives that lost their fucking mind. He says here, go to your safe place and yap about gender issues. Nobody with the brain wants to hear this nonsense right now. Fuck you, man. You know, really? I mean, say what you want to say. I, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You got your opinions, but fine. This is not the time to do that. Sue me for that shit, motherfucker. Fuck you. This is where I get really, this is where I get really uh, conflicted about this, man. Because at this point, this is when people start to, to, to use symbols to show their support of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of Paris. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to say that this is, Paris is getting special treatment or should be ignored. I think all tragedies should be treated the same. I, uh, you know, I, I look at, on Facebook now. Everybody has the, the, the colors of the flag sure. in there. And to be honest with you, I don't do that. Because I don't do that either. Yeah, I, I just I, I, I don't. Whenever those come up, ice bucket challenge, uh, you know, change your Facebook pro. Honestly, the whole change your Facebook profile. I'm like, I, okay, so the point of this is to make me feel like I did something. It's a, yeah. like a little placebo pill for my for my soul. So like, <laughs> well, I have shown my support, and now I can go back to <laughs> to watch an Ash wow. vs. Evil Dead. I pretty much <laughs> took on ISIS today. <laughs> did my change, part. Change my change my Facebook <laughs> profile. I mean, I'm, I, I hate to even say that because it sounds like I'm putting down the people that do it. I mean, that, that, if that works for you, that's fine. It's just that I just never participate in those because they're just so trendy and kind of meaningless. Because they tell you now. They even got the instructions up. If you want to change your yeah, Oh, yeah. yeah. Click file. this button. Yeah, yeah. It's not even like, hey, if you want to do this, uh, follow these steps. It's like, nope, click a button. There you go. Showed your support. Yeah, ex exactly. So here, here it is, people. You've seen it. Like everybody has their... Their their avatar, a picture in the color of uh, the the flag and whatnot. Even Google's putting up some stuff, you know, showing support and everything. I mean, it's it's. I, look, I have no problem with that. I know people want to put that label on that slacktivism. Yeah, I'm just wondering when it's going to get to the point where where somebody will send you a message going like. What, you don't support Paris? What the fuck's up with you, man? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you can't even click the button to change your profile? Jesus, man. This what is why I, people are dying. What kind of <laughs> asshole are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? ISIS is might as well. They just, just, they just won. Yeah, well, why don't you go ahead and join ISIS? <laughs> yeah. You son of a bitch. You know what? You're kind of making me right now. You so. hate America, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it, but I don't condemn people for doing it because I do understand, you know, because I don't think that there's, I, I do think there are some people who just do it as a fashion statement. It's fashionable now to do. Well, I don't, I don't think people do it so much. I mean, sure, you're going to have some people that do. I think it's more like people see it. It's kind of a Pavlovian, like, hey, this is a tragedy. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do something. Oh, hey, here's something I can do. Blink. And now I feel a little bit better. What I, what, where, where I start to like feel weird is when, is when uh, you have certain tragedies that go unnoticed. And maybe oh, it, the one from right before? Well, yeah, because maybe, maybe I don't know. 147 I mean, it, students. Are we talking about the protesters? And because I know that something happened in Beirut recently, where forty-three people were killed. Yeah, there was that. Uh, there was something that happened. There was a Yemen uh, wedding where a hundred and twenty-six people died. Wow, I missed that one. Eighty kids. I mean, I'm sorry, eighty women died there. Now, maybe I don't understand. So I'm not again. I'm not trying to be self-righteous. Over in Turkey, they had a. Uh, this it has. This happened in September. The Yemen thing just happened not that long ago. I don't think. But uh, over in Turkey, this is the last month, October 11th. 
uh, the pro-Kurdish parties, uh, they had protesters out there, and 128 people were killed from a Turkish bomb attack. And I'm just Aren't thinking, you glad you started double toasted instead? Fuck yeah, because I would have moved. <laughs> you, see you'd have been, been right there at ground zero. Martin is, Martin is saying, like, my girlfriend is Turkish. She has no reason why I'm bringing that up. But I said, oh, you know what? I'm just going to. I'm just gonna like drop everything and move to Turkey with my girlfriend, and she was like, "Oh, the Turkish dollar's there, and 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 you know, the Turkish dollar is very is very strong against the American dollar. Our American dollar is very strong against that." Yeah, and I was like, "Well, that's cool." Like king. Yeah, not if I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't. The dead man can't spend money. It's actually still kind of cool over there, so I'm not saying anything. But my my point is. Where was where, where were the the, the, the Facebook calls to change that? Yeah, but Gerald has something to say. Oh, I, I, you know it's serious when Gerald want to say something. I know exactly. Gerald had that walk over here too. Like shit, yeah. this, I got some real shit. Well, what you were talking about earlier with the 147 people that was actually in Somalia. Somalia, yeah, I knew it was, it was Africa. Um, students that were yeah. killed. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah, I was. did hear about that, and you know, and and, and again, I'm wondering is it, is it a color thing too? You know, is it is where and it's in an area where it's mostly brown people and people who are, you know, uh, uh, and black people. Are, are, do we pay less attention to that than Paris? I think so. Look at all the shit that's going on in Africa and how many tragedies are happening there, and barely of that's being, you know, reported at all in the mainstream media. I don't want anybody to think that we would like trying to be mean about this with our speculations and thinking about this. I just, I, my heart goes out to those people in Paris. I, I really, really was shaken by that when I heard it. I know it seems like we're laughing and everything, but. Uh, Terrible thing to happen, and a uh, terrible thing to happen to anybody, no matter where they are. So, uh, shit, man, I just want to build a rocket and go to fucking Mars, man. <laughs> what, you think they won't follow you there? <laughs> <laughs> shit, Matt Damon, he had the right idea, man. <laughs> 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 All right.